Hello everyone, welcome to Vic's Tarot Guidance. Welcome all of you that are new and all of you returning today to this channel. If you like, please subscribe down below. And if you're interested in booking a personal tarot reading with me, check out the Etsy shop. The link is down below in the description box. So you guys, today we're going to be tapping into messages that want to show up from your person today. So anything that they want to say to you, we're keeping it quite open-ended and we're just going to see what type of energies emerge within the readings themselves. So we have three different groups to pick from, as always, for today's reading. These are all from Gabby Bernstein's uh, Super Attractor Oracle. So group number one, you have this beautiful card with in stillness, I receive message. Group number two, you have I let the universe catch up with my dreams message. And group number three, you have I can decide today to recalibrate my energy and commit to love and joy message, right? So the timestamps are down below in the description box in the pinned comment below this video. Feel free to pick more than one group feel free to pick for more than one person. So let's see what wants to emerge within the groups. Pause the video right now if you feel like you want to take a little bit more time. Hello, group number one. Welcome to your reading. So you have picked in stillness I receive card here. So let's see what wants to emerge within your reading. Today we're going to draw a couple of more cards. We also have here the card of the universe is always conspiring to support me, guide me, and lead me compassionate, compassionately towards the highest good. All right, so I'm, I'm going to draw one or two, two more cards for you guys. So calling group number one's person, let's see what wants to show up as the energy for you today. Okay, so we have these, these two showing up. Let's see what they are. So we have my greatest spiritual shifts don't come through force, they come through freedom. Amazing. And we have the message of when I connect to the spiritual realm, I open the door to receive divine guidance, clear direction and great wisdom. Oh my gosh, amazing. I love this reading. This feels to me like the star card, um, like a sense of working on oneself and having a lot of faith for this connection right now. It feels like your person definitely is in a more relaxed, I wouldn't say passive state. It's more like a receptive, open, allowing state. It feels like allowing to me, allowing for the things to come to come um, and allowing the things that are meant for them to like come through and show themselves, reveal themselves in your relationship. I feel like the energy, the energy that's overall showing up is that of intuition and trust. So intuition in terms of just kind of feeling what is for the best in any given moment, listening to one's intuition, one's gut instinct, one's gut feeling as to what to do in any given moment. Your person here, the way that I'm feeling them, they don't have any plans, any great plans for the future. They feel like they're living moment by moment when it comes to your relationship. They're seeing where your relationship takes them what they feel in any given situation, what they feel in response to your messages, what they feel in response to seeing you, and they kind of decide or kind of just go with the gut instinct um, with what to do or what to say or how to respond to you in any given situation, any given moment. So this could lead to your person being maybe a little bit inconsistent because they are not really, you know responding in a thoughtful manner. They're responding through their mood. They're responding to you through their feelings, right? So it can be maybe a little bit weird or maybe a little bit inconsistent. Maybe they sometimes don't fully reply immediately or they need a little bit of a push to do something. Sometimes they're super excited to reply and to do stuff with you. So there's this feeling of like potential inconsistency that you might be facing with this person. 
there's also here with these two cards especially like a feeling of being more connected to you through energy through the spiritual realm so if you guys resonate with you know being soulmates being twin flames or that type of energetic connection this feels to me like your person is trusting more in the flow of this relationship is trusting more in what the relationship has to teach them transcendentally not just you know in terms of having you in the physical world and being with you in the physical world this is more about learning about themselves through the relationship and learning how to be a better human overall, how to be more empathetic, how to be more ethical, how to be a wiser human with a clear internal sense of direction. So that's what they're kind of learning right now, what they're processing right now when it comes to your relationship. Mm, so yeah, we're going to draw a couple of these message cards now. So let's see what else is going on for them. For Just cleanse the deck. Um, uh, what's going on for group number one here? We have judgment. So this person could currently like in some way be facing external judgment or could be feeling like you might be judging them. We have harmony. They want to align with harmony. Let's see what else. We have manipulation. Okay, so someone or something could have manipulated your relationship in the past. Your person might also have realized that they were trying to bring something about or were trying to manipulate this connection um, as to make it fit their judgment of what they want to experience in the past. It just does feel like this is something, this is the energy that was in the past and that they're realizing um, you know, that they were trying to like make this connection fit some type of mold, some type of predetermined idea of how it should be. Um, and they're realizing they actually have no way of making this happen, no way of like bringing this about, no way of like really manifesting the way this connection shows up for them right they were trying to like make it fit something some type of an idea that they had about the two of you but that now they're kind of realizing that that's not going to happen and also that they were profoundly limiting themselves in this relationship so let's see what else we have god yeah this person is deeply connecting to spirit to god um to divine guidance right now which is aligning them with deeper harmony if they if you resonate that there were other people involved who could have manipulated this connection through their own judgment or through their own ideas of how you two should live what you two should do what it's right what is not right for you guys to do you know um i feel like your person is now just reflecting on those relationships as well and those people and they're not allowing those people to like come in and um just you know like like put the idea of what you guys should be doing inside of this relationship like if you imagine a cauldron of what this connection is like all the things that you are doing are like little ingredients within the cauldron like your person is not allowing other people to put ingredients in the cauldron anymore they are almost like protecting the relationship from other people's judgments, other people's ideas of what should be, um, other people's potential, you know, manipulative um, thoughts, actions. So, yeah, that this this is more like yeah, just a purer relationship. Your person definitely feels like they kind of want to purify the relationship. Um, but right now, like they are not really sure what type of action to take rather than just doing what feels good for them in any given situation, whenever they feel like they are required to take action. This judgment and manipulation energy, this could also be energy from your families, if any of you resonate with that, because that's like the energy that's showing up. So some people like, you know, putting their expectations onto you or onto your person, um, trying to, yeah, just bring things through that they want, like your person is more mindful of that right now. I do feel like you are more, more mindful of that right now as well. 
<clears throat> so let's see what else. Let's see what wants to show up. So what's going on with them? What do you wanna? What do they wanna say? Please, Ferret. What do they wanna say? So we have the Ten of Fire. Your person is currently releasing the old, welcoming in the new energy. With the Ten of Fire, they are decluttering their life, decluttering relationships, um, also like literally physically decluttering things. Um, like for example, if they had like an archive of papers and things that they saved up, they're kind of decluttering that, making sure it is no longer available. Maybe they're even burning some things. Um, but yeah, like they're burning bridges to things, to people, to relationships, to ideas that no longer serve them. Let's see what else. Let's see what else. I saw the Four of Swords right now. So there is a feeling of your person being in stillness or just being in this place of um, receptivity. It's a, It's a place of like an exhale like oh relaxation like i can i can let go i can just be in peace in presence it's that type of feeling that i'm getting from that energy being able to relax like the worst is behind us type of feeling is showing up here and there's a lot of like hopefulness for the future there's a lot of like good coming through for the future. We have the 10 of air here as well. So yeah, there, there's like a feeling here of things ending, of the difficult energy ending, of the mental struggle ending in your lives. And your person being like at the end of that journey right now where they just have to kind of like um, just tie up the loose ends with the 10 of fire, with the 10 of air. It feels like they're tying up the loose ends when it comes to their own mental processing, their own potential judgments of certain things, you know, uh, certain thought patterns that they had and or that they operated through in this relationship. With the Ten of Fire, there's this closing of a burden that they have been carrying for a really long time. So this, again, could have to do with other relationships could have to do with their job with a certain project that they were working on for a really long time that they're closing right now or working through right now so it's no longer such a burden for them so let's see what else like look at the state of the cards oh my gosh like what is going on here um it's kind of difficult to shuffle um but yeah like the cards have their own life here so let's see what do they want to say please spirit so what else wants to show for group number one's person we have chariot. The chariot is showing up. Yeah, like as this person is decluttering their mind and the physical world, their baggage, so to speak, with the Ten of Fire, they are making space to be able to be more perceptive, to be able to have more mastery over themselves with the chariot, to be able to make moves towards you, to be able to have place, a place in their life for this connection for something new and we have justice coming through here as well so they're making things right here as well for a lot of you here it feels like they're making things right not with you specifically but like with other things in their world like they're they're almost like cleaning their slate for the other things in their world so that this connection can be more fluid. The focus on this relationship is for it to be more pure and more loving and for them to be able to like really like show up as the real self with you without feeling like tied down or dragged down by certain of these like things that are holding them back and by their own thoughts. Let's just put a card over this deck here as well. Too many, Spirit. Let's get one, please. What else wants to show up here? Okay, thank you. We have temptation. Oh my gosh. So yeah, temptation, the devil. There is some ego energy still at play here. Your person is saying they're trying to work on it. They're trying to work through it. 
with temptation, with judgment, manipulation here. This person could have had certain like very egoic perceptions, egoic ideas of what is right for this relationship, what you guys need to do, what you need to align with, you know, where you need to go, what this relationship wants to be or needs to be from their own perspective. And they're like realizing right now, okay, like maybe I'm not right about this you know maybe what my idea was and what i wanted to make here is not what actually should be so they're kind of drawing back you know their own energy and looking at themselves more um, because of this um with temptation they are more sexually attracted to but they're they're more in harmony with that now than they were before there's a feeling of, yeah, just more balance within when it comes to their sexual attraction to you. Like they can hold themselves in it. They, they can hold space for themselves um, through the sexual attraction so that it's not like, you know, like like jumping out of them energetically, you know, like like in this a bit chaotic energy, they're able to hold this energy much better, which is amazing with temptation here. Your person could still be tempted by certain things. They could also be like still tempted by you, still tempted to engage in some um, of these thought patterns or in some ways that they're trying to release. They are trying to or working on releasing them, but they could still be tempted in the next days, months by, by certain things as they are kind of releasing this energy with temptation. What else? Um, what else? There's this, with the justice, there's like this feeling of some type of legal process, um, maybe connecting the two of you or just being a part of this relationship externally outside of the two of you. It's just a feeling of things um, happening here. Um, yeah, that, that's interesting. I feel like here with justice, like your person is talking to other people, having like very deep, important conversations with other people. Again, like with the intention to make things clearer, to just let go of the baggage that they've been holding for such a really long time. Um, let's see what else wants to show up here. So I've been wanting to use the Love Oracle cards for you just to see what comes through. So let's take three cards from this deck for you, group number one. Let's see what wants to show up. We have both receiving what you need, progression, arriving, moving on and closure issues. Yeah, like definitely your person is trying to move on from something in their life right now. Um, that, that There's definitely like this feeling of tying up loose ends with the boat. Um, I'm also getting the vibe or the energy of someone wanting to travel. Um, so maybe your person wants to travel towards you or they want to meet you um, at a certain place. They kind of want to just have a reconnection, a reunion, so to speak. Um, they might want to travel with you or travel towards you here. And overall, they feel like they want to progress this relationship. But at the same time, you know, they don't want to get ahead of themselves. They don't want to rush into anything is the vibe that I'm getting. So let's see what else. So what dropped? We have not today. Not dealing hurt, avoiding a conversation call person, boundaries still angry. So with this card here, your person is definitely sure that they don't want to like connect or talk to you right away, especially if you know they're still like letting go of certain things with the ten of fire, with the ten of air, you know, there's some some really powerful, deeply ingrained um, thoughts, beliefs, etc. that they're letting go here. So they're sure that they don't want to immediately talk to you. And they, with the not today energy, they just don't want to um, be hasty. They don't want to, you know, come through immediately, you know, as they like did one thing, like maybe, maybe they just let go one little thing here or like, I don't know, just cleared some storage in their house, let's say. Uh, whether that is literally or figuratively speaking, um, they are not going to immediately be like running towards you and 
um, calling you up and being like, hey, I wanna hang out. I did a lot of work on myself today. You know, it's, it's like, it's not like that for them anymore. It might have been like that in the past, but it's not like them for them anymore. I'm hearing I grew up, I got better. Um, so yeah, they could also like be avoiding calling you or they feel like right now it's not the right time to call you. I still kind of know that that is going to have to happen sometime in the future. Um, but yeah, they, they could still, for some of you, have like strong boundaries up. They could still be upset about something or they could be upset about, you know, something else going on in their life here, which is just this energy, something that they're releasing. They're still a little bit upset about that. So, you know, they don't want to connect to you if they're feeling upset overall, if they're not in a good state. So let's see, let's get one more card, please, Spirit. What else? Okie doke. So we have talking. So we have interested in conversing more. Uh, your person is interested, wants to converse more with you. We have awaited message arrives, text, call, email, hovering. So they definitely want to connect you. We also have healthy choices showing up here through the deck, making healthy choices in love and in life, self-love, self-care, being happier. Yeah. So your person is, is, of course, like working on themselves. They're progressing. They are like doing the best that they can right now, which is awesome for them. They want to talk to you more. They, they want to receive messages from you. Um, yeah. You know, but they also like don't want to get ahead of themselves and be reckless when it comes to connecting to you, when it comes to messaging you, texting you. So let's see what are the messages. You are always on my mind. Let's see what else. What do they want to say? I'm scared to open up to you. So let's see what else. I ask other people about you. We also have, I want you to know I really care about you. And I want to confess something to you soon. So they definitely want to reach out, talk to you soon. Like, but in a time that feels right for them. Let's see what else. Um, I want to take this to the next level is what we have here. And I've had a crush on you for a really long time. That's so, so cute. Let's just put this one over here. So you guys, this is it. This is where I'm going to finish this off. This has been a short little tune in for your person, for your connection. Thank you so much for spending time with me. In terms of zodiac signs, we have Cancer, Libra, um, Capricorn energy showing up. So if any of you want to book a personal tarot reading with me, the Etsy shop is down below in the description box. Thank you so much for connecting, for sharing your energy. Um, thank you all for liking, for subscribing, and for commenting down below as well. If you're interested in 18 plus readings, check out Patreon for those. And yeah, thank you so much for connecting. Thank you for your support on this channel. And I'll see you soon in the next one. Hope you have a lovely rest of the day. Bye. Namaste. Hello, group number two. Welcome, welcome to your reading. So let's get into this. I just want to cleanse the space real quick. I completely forgot to clean it. Amazing. Um, so yeah, let's go. Um, so this energy definitely feels all right, like spunky moving, like someone dancing. Um, very cool. So we're going to see what the cards are here. We're going to draw two more from this deck here and just get in with the energy, see what the messages are from your person for today. So yeah, let's go, let's go. There, there's this feeling of like wanting to move, wanting to move, wanting to go. There's a fire energy, excitement, um, like wanting to dance, wanting to vibe, you know, it's, it's got the energy of movement to it, a very dynamic quality to it. So let's see, I let the universe catch up with my dreams is the message here. We also have, when I'm in a state of appreciation, I'm in vibrational alignment with my true love nature. Awesome. And let's take two more cards. So for group number two, okay, these two want to show up very quick. So 
As soon as I choose to see the light in the dark corners, I redirect my power toward what I want. And we have, instead of worrying about the future, I know all is well when I'm aligned in the moment. Okay, amazing. I'm hearing I am trying to do things that make me feel good. I'm prioritizing myself, my needs, my wants, my desires right now. So that's your person's energy showing up. They are also like feeling energetically a little bit impatient. The energy, the way that it's showing, showing up is, is like, you know, the pure sense of impatience that like children have. When, when you're, for example, on a trip with someone that's, that's younger or a child, you know, and they have this energy of, are we there yet? Are we there yet? Oh my gosh, are we there yet? You know, like every single minute, it's like, are we there yet? Are we there yet? Oh my gosh, are we there yet? Have we come yet? It's that type of feeling that your person is giving, like this super exciting energy, um, very like dynamic, moving. There's this feeling of someone dancing, like dancing on the beach with songs and some type of cocktail in their hand. It's giving that type of vibe to me. Um, like a sense of deep emotional fulfillment. Like they are really fulfilling themselves right now and like giving themselves everything that they've always wanted. It's giving that type of vibe to me. Um, yeah. Like they're not spending so much time worrying about the difficult things that might be going on or the difficult things that might come in the future. They're more like, I'm just going to let go. I'm just going to enjoy the moment. I'm just going to enjoy the relationship. I'm just going to enjoy conversing with someone right now. It's like this energy of allowing themselves to be more in the present moment. So let's see. What else? So they're saying, of course, I still think about you. You're always on my mind. Um, so even if they're having fun with other people, let's say friends, family even, or even total strangers, this person is the type of person who I feel like just attracts people. Um, they're, they're still thinking about you. They, they often like hope that you would be with them or hope or wish they to you could be spending time with them when they're like somewhere outside, just having fun, enjoying themselves. Um, they're saying their pleasure would be greater with you. So here it feels like there's some type of separation going on. It could be spiritual separation. It could just be um, that you don't live in the same area and your person wishes that you guys lived in the same area or closer together so that you could spend more time together or that you could find more space in your life to spend more time together so let's see what else shows up let's take four of these message cards to see what wants to show up so we have victory victory success well deserved success is on this person's mind this feels to me like the six of wands energy like a sense of achievement excellence Like the feeling here is like life is good right now. Victory is on the horizon or like things are looking good. Things are looking positive. Let's see what else. We have diving deep. Okay, cool. Your person is also doing a lot of self-reflection here with diving deep. And we have bulldozing. Okay. All right. So with bulldozing energy here, we are going to look into what is your person's blind spot. So this is this reading in particular. I'm kind of flowing with the energies that come along. So I'm just going to get the deck here in the background just to see, you know, what is your person actually blind to? Because it feels like they are bulldozing something. They're bulldozing a part of themselves. So I'm just going to look into their blind spot. For some of you, if you resonate, um, this could also mirror you. So let's see. So what is this person avoiding or what do they not want to look at or what are they bulldozing? Okay, so we have a lot of cards showing up. So number 60, number 44 wants to show up as well here. 
So let's just see what is this person. What are they avoiding? So number six, a teen here is control. So their blind spot could be that they are controlling themselves too much. They're trying to control this connection a bit too much through how they are behaving, through how they are acting. And number 44 is um, the blind spot of um, expectations. Cool. So that's that's interesting here. So there's control. There's the blind spot of expectations here, which aligns with the message that we had over here. So this person feels like they are like bulldozing other parts of themselves through trying to have a lot of control over what this connection is or how it is going to play out for the two of you here. Very interesting. So they're like not allowing just things to flow for the two of you. They are actually, I feel like subconsciously, the bulldozing here is happening subconsciously. They're subconsciously like um, controlling. They're subconsciously controlling the expectations um, that this connection is giving or um, like maintaining certain expectations about this relationship, how it should show up how it should be, like most expectations are subconscious. Um, this means that your person, they may know that some of their expectations are, you know, and what they are, um, and they may not know that they have certain expectations about this connection, even though they do, but they're kind of trying to control it anyway, like they're trying to really exert some type of control over what feels good to them. So that is like that subconscious feeling of the expectations that they are aware of and expectations that they're subconsciously having and they are not aware of. So they're kind of exerting control over all of that right now. So definitely your person here has a certain idea of how this connection should go, what this connection should look like, and that is what they are putting forward. So they're doing what they're doing for control to be able to like assert their power to influence or direct themselves or direct other people's behavior, as well as the course of events that is at play in your relationship or at play um, with the problem at hand if you're having some type of issue here. Your, your person here could also be controlling themselves in a way that like spiritually speaking, does not benefit them right now. Um, but it's it's about them figuring that out on their own as they go along. Um, what else? Um, they could be trying to avoid certain behaviors or certain events as well and trying to control that. Um, what else? They're trying to like overall, like the bottom line, let's say, is that they're trying to control because they are not wanting to get into another painful situation and literally they're pushing against what they do not want. Um, but at the same time, like the way that spirit works is that that is making it impossible for the universe to bring about what it is that they actually want as well. So through bulldozing, through like resisting some parts of themselves here they are actually like also in resistance to what they really want for the universe to bring them what they really want so a person could be doing a lot of self-reflection they could actually be introspecting and like even you know meditating doing yoga by having control over stuff like using yoga so as to exert control over certain parts of themselves. Hmm, it's an interesting one. Cool. Cool, cool. Maybe your person also likes to travel or likes to party and they're using that as a way to like have control over the things that they don't want to look at, don't want to worry about. So let's see what else wants to show with the tarot. 
So let's see you guys. Group number two. Okay, so let's see what we have here. The page of air. So with the page of air, this person like wants to connect. They want to talk to you, want to see you. Um, there's a curiosity here. We have the page of water as well. Yeah, there's definitely like this childlike curiosity that they are putting forward. Um, let's see what else. Ooh. We also have patience, temperance energy. I love it. And we have the four of water. Yeah, that's, oh my gosh, that's literally the energy that I was talking about before. Like that child that is like, are we there yet? Are we there yet? You know, with the four of water, the four of water is this feeling of like being a little bit bored with the situation, having like this experience of this content with the situation, just something not sitting well. It's like this feeling of like having a bit of an ick with something like, ugh, you know, that, that bit like, it's like something in the pit of your stomach being like, ugh, that does not feel good. Um, so that's the vibe. We have the nine of fire on the bottom of the deck. Oh, actually, mm, um, that's that's a sense of like resisting something. That's the bulldozing energy, by the way. Just wanted to put a card over this just to see what clarity emerges through this. Let's see. We have the page of fire, all the pages. Okay, and we have the six of water showing up reverse. So your person misses you. There's nostalgic energy here. We have the ace of fire on the bottom of the deck right now. Yeah, like. I'm hearing I'm mad about you. I want to connect. I want to see you. This person could be trying to like make situations happen in your lives where they get to see, where they get to powerfully connect to you, establish or reestablish a connection with some of you. Yeah, like wanting to see you again, feeling bored or just not in their good energy without you. With patience, they are trying to be moderate about all of this. They're trying not to go into any extreme action state, even though like initially they would want to do that. They would want to take powerful, almost like concerning action, but they're choosing not to. They're choosing to be more mature um, when it comes to you here. They're trying to kind of cultivate this moderation, stability, this could be them also like bulldozing the parts of them that are more, what I'm hearing is exotic, more excited about life and just want to move things forward. But the six of water reverse, there is definitely this feeling of like missing you, wishing that they could be in contact with you. There's this feeling of almost like being stuck in the past, unable to move forward. Um, they could be, you know, disappointed or just like bored and unable to connect there's this feeling of like nostalgia connection wanting connection with you um wanting to see you like like thinking about the sweet memories that were there between the two of you um also remembering old flames in the past and wanting the security of the good old days as well like they wanted the security of the good old days um, we also have dreaming and introspection energy showing up here, like with all this water energy. This person is contemplating, um, trusting in the abundance of opportunities. Like with all these pages, there's a very like childlike, open, expansive energy at play in your relationship. And your person's like very open hearted. Um, they, they have a certain childlike innocence and curiosity about them. Um, and like all these pages, they also do indicate like the beginning of um, intimacy or the beginning of wishing for intimacy, um, a relationship with you, getting to know you better, having passion and, you know, have that intimacy, that emotional connection here with the water page. Um, there's a sense of playfulness here, cheerful optimism showing up in their energy. Um, with the page of air, there's this feeling of like new ideas coming to light and like wanting to explore this connection, um, feeling like, you know, this connection is very interesting. I want to see what it is, want to explore new ways of thinking um, about your relationship, having new focus, 
focus areas within the connection that they can tap into. There's like this feeling of, you know, just overall being quite curious about you wanting to explore further. Um, and with the page of fire, there's a sense of venturing forth, beginning a new, let's say, project with you or beginning a new journey with you, having new adventures with you, taking enthusiastic action, you know, it's like wanting to act on a new idea as well. And the Ace of Fire here on the bottom of the deck is talking about inspired transformation and um, like wanting to move forward, seeing the unlimited potential that is available um, for things to transform, for things to move. And like wanting to make something daring happen, wanting, feeling very inspired, feeling quite also like vital, um, feeling passion, feeling inspiration, feeling um, maybe even lust for some of you, desire for some of you here, you know, it's that quality, feeling, feeling like very much drawn and attracted to move things forward. Um, so overall, with all that being said, I want us to be still mindful about the things that this person is in some ways like controlling the situations. They could be also controlling themselves or how they come across to you. They could be trying to really control their actions, what they tell you, um, how they speak to you. Okay, this could also have to do with your situation if you resonate with that. So let's see. We have the snake here. We have competition, enemy, clever, malicious, look over your shoulder, the other woman. So this person could think that there are other people involved here, like you are with someone else. Um, you know, like they have competition in the area and they need to be careful. They need to be maybe a little bit sneaky. They need to watch their back. So let's see what else. Or they, they could just, you know, see that you have other people who are interested in you as well. And they're like, holy crap. Oh no, I have competition. <laughs> so let's see what else here. We have photographs. So yeah, this is like a nostalgic energy here. Like your person is missing you. They're looking at your photos, missing you. There's nostalgia. They want to make new memories with you as well. They're missing the good old days is what I'm hearing. So let's get one more card. What's going on here? We have Cupid's arrow. So your person literally getting struck by love. Have faith, love is coming. Surprise, invitation, or meeting. There could still be a little bit of hesitation here, but we also do have love on the bottom of the deck. Unconditional love, self-love, oneness, passion, affection, and attraction. Yeah, this there's there is love here. Definitely, there is love here. There is attraction here. There is a missing here. There's a feeling of like, being a bit jealous, maybe of other people spending time with you as well, um, wanting to be the one who spends more time with you. So let's see what else we got. So in terms of signs, um, we are going to look into some messages right about now. But also we have Gemini, Aquarius, Libra here, Cancer, Scorpio, um, Pisces energy, Sagittarius energy here, and Leo Sagittarius, um, Aries energy over here. So let's see what messages do they want to share with you? What do they want to say to you for group number two? Let's kiss and make up. Let's make things better. Let's meet again. I'm missing you. I think I might be falling in love with you. For some of you, if you already resonate like with this person being an ex or someone you were in a relationship with, they, they feel like they're falling in love with you over again, over and over again. Um, we have, do you still care about me or is it all in my head? We have, I'm so happy when I'm with you. So they really enjoy spending time with you. I strongly remember our last conversation. So yeah, this person is thinking back on your conversations a lot, replaying them, like thinking about what you've said to them, the, the wisdom that you have revealed to them. We have, it hurts me to be around you. I want you and I can't have you. So this person could feel like they could not, they cannot have you or they cannot be with you right now. Um, yeah, that's interesting. Like, why? Why do they feel that, you guys? You are always on my mind is showing up here as well. Um, and we have, I'm scared to open up to you here on 
the bottom of the deck. So darlings, this is where we're at. This is where I'm going to finish this off for today's reading. This was a quick little look into your person's energy today. Thank you so much for spending time with me. If any of you want to book a personal tarot reading or a personal messages reading or anything else, check out the um, Etsy shop. The link is down below. So if any of you are interested in 18 plus readings, check out Patreon for that. That's also linked down below as are all my socials, my email, etc. So thank you so much for spending time with me. I love you all so, so very much. Thank you for liking. Thank you for subscribing. And thank you for commenting down below. It means so much that you support this channel and that we get to interact in such a loving way. And I'll see you all in the next video. So hope you have a lovely day, lovely weekend, and I'll see you soon. Bye. Namaste. Hello, group number three. Welcome to your video. So you have picked this beautiful card. I can decide today to recalibrate my energy and commit to love and joy. So we're going to draw two more. Um, then we're going to get into the messages to see what energy emerges through your reading. The energy that I'm feeling here overall feels very like soft, subtle, flowy, um, like, like a very raspy voice of someone talking to you slowly. You know, it's like that type of vibe here, like very slow, very tender. Like there's a seductive energy to this as well, like slowly, like whispering little sweet nothings to each other like very romantic energy showing up so let's see what emerges so i can decide today to recalibrate my energy to commit to love and joy we also have the message of when i cultivate a spiritual connection i can trust the universe no matter what let's draw two more for you guys so let's see for group number three what wants to emerge today what are their messages we have when I whoa <laughs> when I introduce joy to a situation, I change the vibrational frequency of what's happening around me. This is a wonderful message. Also, like in general, this is a wonderful message um, of how to alchemize. And we have my greatest spiritual shifts don't come through force; they come through freedom. Wow. This energy feels to me like traveling, like your person is traveling. It feels a bit like a fool energy to me as well. Um, you know, like getting into unknown situations, enjoying the unknown energy right now, just seeing where life takes them. Yeah, it's, it's like I'm just flowing, you know, it's like the energy. I'm just going, I'm just flowing. I'm just seeing what happens next. Um, they don't really have a plan is what I'm getting here. Your person doesn't have a plan of what to do, what to do next or where to go next. There's just like kind of this feeling of floating and seeing what emerges, seeing what comes out for them. Um, it's got a very like fluid vibe to it. What else? Yeah, like, like a feeling of acceptance of what's going on around them. And kind of trusting that if it's meant to be, it will be, is the energy that's showing up here. Especially with this one. It's like, if it's meant to be, it will be. It will come to me. It's that type of quality. So let's see what else. Let's get four messages from the keywords deck here. Let's see what wants to show up here for group number three's person. We have completion. So this person feels quite completed in their life. They definitely like, yeah, enlightened. They don't feel like searching is what I was about to say. They don't feel like searching. They don't feel like, you know, doing some type of incredible gesture to like prove themselves in any way. They're like at peace where they're at right now. They feel a sense of completion in their own life, a sense of this is good, this feels right, this, this is good here, you know, it's good here. There's no need to go outside to search for something better or brighter. It's like, it is nice here. I like it here. 
and also like a sense of um, mindfulness is showing up, but mindfulness in the sense of, not in the sense of meditating, but like in the sense of practicing presence and being in the present moment overall. What do we have here? We have love. Yeah, like your person is align in alignment with love here. Amazing. And we have here other circumstances. We do have another openness. Ooh, openness to other circumstances and peace on the bottom of the deck. So yeah, very peaceful, very like chill energy here showing up for your person. Amazing. So we have openness here. They're open to seeing where things go next. They're open to new things emerging, new things showing up in this connection. Other circumstances coming in for this connection to shift things around. This person could also like in this relationship be dealing with some other circumstances or other circumstances could be at play in this connection. Um, I'm just getting like the energy of, you know, your relationship is the one of love. And there, there's just this feeling of this connection already being like situated in love and joy. But there might be like other circumstances surrounding this connection, you know, maybe children are involved, maybe there's a job situation involved, maybe um, there's some, something unconventional about the relationship going on between the two of you, you know. Um, maybe there are some societal viewpoints on this relationship or religious um, ideas upon this connection, you know, that are at play here. Maybe parents are, um, you know, like giving their own opinions about this connection. Maybe your friends are giving their own opinions about this connection. There's just this feeling of other circumstances here being at play. It could also be uh, the third party situations here with other circumstances um, playing out. So yeah, like other people could be involved, other like circumstances, situations could be involved. The third thing, you know, third thing, third parties could be involved here in some way. But overall, like when it comes to the two of you, I'm I'm just tapping into a ton of love, a ton of appreciation. There's a sense of enlightenment in this relationship. There's a sense of openness and peace in this relationship and joy when the two of you are together. So overall, this connection feels quite pure to me. Um and like complete and loving and also like there's a sense of freedom and openness that you guys have with love and openness here you know it's like this feeling of i allow you to be who you are there's a sense of allowing in your relationship that's very fresh um that's it's very beautiful as well like really really beautiful um that you guys get to cultivate so much love and joy with each other um, so let's see what else wants to show up here through tarot. Maybe Tara is just going to, you know, turn some things on their head here. So let's see what Tara wants to say for your person. So what do you want to say? What messages want to emerge here? Group number three person. Let's see what wants to show up. They're saying they really like you. So the seven of earth showing up here there's a sense of waiting waiting for some things to come about waiting for some project to almost like be finished waiting for some project to take place um like waiting for some type of closure of one thing so that another phase another process can begin here there's just this feeling of like other circumstances energy here as well of patience with these other circumstances, patience with the situation, patience with where the relationship is at right now. There's a feeling of not forcing anything to come about, not forcing the relationship to be one way or the other, but just kind of allowing things to be. Let's see what else. Yeah, like literally patience. Amazing. I love it. Patience, temperance, like not going into any extreme type of emotion, any extreme type of thought about this connection you know it's just like allowing things to be i'm hearing smooth sailing waiting for the like the right phase of nature to hatch and to hatch the relationship um it's it's got this and it's like the seven of earth always has this feeling of gardening you know like you make the earth good 
first of all, by, by digging, by moving it around, by maybe putting some ash over it. Then you at one point, like, like just plant some seeds. Then there is a period of waiting for those seeds to start growing, to start producing their own little plants. And then there's a period of cultivating that plant relationship with you and, you know, giving it love, giving it water, um, making sure it is um, safe, so to speak, um, from external circumstances, you know, like, you know, it's it's not overflowing it's not too much heat whatever it is i'm kind of i'm kind of making it a big deal um but it's not such a big deal um but at the same time you know there's there's this feeling of like waiting for the plant to grow maybe some produce some food you know it's, it's got this feeling of growth and allowing nature to take its course here that's the vibe of this person or of this relationship where your person's at right now we have the two of earth so they're also like taking their own time to like balance out their own life right now with the two of earth. We have the four of air and overall they're very like reflective. Your person is in a very reflective energy. We have the king of earth here on the bottom of the deck. So yeah, taking their time, chilling out. Um, Let's see what, yeah, this one wants to show up. Of course it does. Over all of these cards. Um, we have the Eight of Water here on the bottom of the deck now as well. So I do feel like with the Eight of Water, there's a feeling of releasing something that's going on for both of you. Maybe you're like releasing old stories, maybe some outdated ways of feeling, outdated ways of thinking about love, about joy, about this connection even. There's some type of releasing that's currently going on for the two of you, the King of Earth is not happy that I covered his face. <laughs> so, um, yeah, the, the King of Earth really is like this person's energy right now when it comes to you. Very grounded, very straightforward. There's a sense of financial success that this person is in. They're very happy with their life, with their success, with what they got to do in their life. Overall, there's a sense of like, being at peace with themselves um, and being loving, being appreciative, being able to hold space for other people. Like they're doing the best that they can in life, like making sure things are taken care of with um, the two of pentacle energies over here. This person is currently quite adaptable. They're trying to balance work and play. They feel like their efforts bring them joy in life as well. Um, and they're doing what they actually consider to be really fun also. Um, and they know that one way or the other, their dreams are going to manifest in their world. Um, like they, they could have to wait for a little bit, but they're all overall okay with that. Um, they're reflecting on their progress to date and kind of figuring out or realizing where they currently stand as well. Um, and they're contemplating how to like continue moving forward, what steps to do next. But all of this is happening in like a very gentle, um, very like peaceful way, very, very peaceful way, um, very gentle, soothing, um, wise, like, like just such such a soft and secure way you know it's it's got this feeling of security to it of groundedness to it of um like, like just knowing where one stands at all times and yeah there's there's a sense of just safety in it and peace and love in it it's it just like this amazing quality um, what else? Your person does feel like they have faith and uh, trust in the quote unquote invisible, in the energetic, in the spiritual to manifest what they want to manifest or at least to be open to realizing 
new things about what they really want that they haven't realized before and going in the direction of that. So overall, there's this openness to also realizing that they were wrong, right? So there's this feeling of there is no big deal either way. There is no big deal when it comes to anything here. Like they are aware that they might want one thing right now in this relationship and they're open to this changing, to this shifting, and they're okay with that because they know that they're going to learn along the way. And if new information emerges also about their own desires along the way, they're going to be able to like move towards that and they're not going to like hold it against themselves. So there's like this openness to what it is that they desire, what it is that they want from their life right now as well. Um, I feel like this person could come through a bit aloof to you just because there is like this sense of like softness to them and the sense of like ease. They could come through as a bit aloof sometimes. Just I, I just want to mention that energy or call this energy out since it's present in the space. Um, so they could also be healing, meditating, resting, recuperating with the four of air. Right now here they could be resting their mind and overall allowing peace to take the place of busyness or boredom. Um, they, they are wise. This person feels old, you know, they feel old, they feel wise. Um, so I'm not really calling your person old, but you know, um, it's, it's that energy. So if they're kind of allowing their mind to rest and they know that that will give them greater clarity and, um, allow their mind to be sharper in the future, they know like this is the time for a break for them with the two of earth. They need to like simplify certain things in their life with the four of air. They feel like they need to take a break right now, maybe from this connection or just maybe like to be with themselves more, like from their life in general, they feel like they could need to take a break a bit um, to take care of themselves, to take care of their emotions in particular with the eight of water here, like to, to have greater clarity about their emotional state, to find deeper meaning and greater authenticity and move beyond superficial ways of being um, yeah, what else? They want to make sure that they stay true to their own heart. Yeah, whatever comes, they, they want to make sure that they um, are true to their own heart and that they no longer hold on to what isn't right for them. So that's the vibe here of recalibrating with the two of earth, with the two of pentacles, just kind of shifting, moving away from things that no longer serve. Overall, your person's in a very like humanitarian energy, very philanthropic energy, like a love of humanity energy, doing, working towards um, everyone, everyone's like fulfillment, wanting to incorporate other people um, in their life. Um, you know, wanting to bring joy and peace and love to other people as well. But they also are wise enough to know that they do need to fill their own cup first, you know, so as to later be able to take care of other people. So we have Sagittarius energy. Here we have Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus energy. Let's see what else. What are the messages here? Let's see what the love oracle cards want to say. What's going on with your person? We have lightning. So they might have experienced sudden change, shocking news, surprise, epiphany, upheaval, and transformation, or they are just about to experience this for you guys. It feels like it's going to be positive energy. If anything, it's going to maybe shake them out, uh, shake them up a bit, not shake them out of anything, but just shake them up a bit. Um, in a good way, in like a positive, exciting way. We have photograph here. Your person is looking at your photos. They are missing you. They want to make new memories with you. They feel a little bit nostalgic towards you, but it's like this, this like bittersweet loving feeling that they have towards you with photograph. Like if they're looking at your photo, they're like, oh my gosh, they're so beautiful. They're so pretty. Look at them. Oh my gosh, I can't believe this human exists. It's like this love of you. You know, look at you. You're so beautiful. Look at your little face. Look at your amazing, beautiful eyes. You know, look at your body. You're so beautiful. You're like, oh my gosh, I'm so grateful that you are alive. 
No, it's that energy. So let's see what else. One, two more cards, please. Um, so we have the Phoenix energy. So there's a new phase, a rekindling of this connection that's on the horizon, a renewal, a transformation, growth, and changed mind. So a person has worked on themselves. They themselves they have changed a lot um, since you guys connected. They've made a lot of healthy choices, and they're still like working always like on bettering themselves with the eight of water here. So anything else wanting to come through, you guys? Anything else here wanting to come through in this connection? So yeah, this this connection, I, I just saw the runner and the chaser within the, um, the, 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 the deck. So um, that's just a message that, you know, this could be runner chaser dynamic or could have been in the past a runner and chaser dynamic between the two of you where you could be the runner, you could be the chaser and your person is you know, the other polarity. So I feel like that is about to change. That's about to transform. So let's see, you guys, what, what are the messages from your person? What do they want to say to you? What do they want to say to group number three, please, Spirit? What does group number three's person want to say to group number three, please? Okay, how I act is so different from how I feel on the inside. So due to the other circumstances, energy here, a person could be acting in a different way than how they're feeling. I need to see you again. I miss you. Definitely like aligning deeply with that photograph energy. Let's get this. I can't be the person you deserve to have. Your person feels like they can't be the person you deserve to have right now. I'm just hearing who are you to make that judgment. So I feel like that's maybe your energy coming through or your higher self coming through. Well, I still want you. So regardless of the situation, regardless of what went on, regardless of potentially the healing that your person has done on themselves, they still want you. I'm going to sneeze. Wee! <laughs> Yeah, you guys, like, this This is confirmation. Like, I always use when you guys need, like, additional confirmation for things. And this is, like, additional confirmation from Spirit being like, yo, believe it. You better believe it, <laughs> you know? Because you could be like, oh, no, no, not sure, you know? Oh, my gosh, yeah, wishful thinking, yeah. Uh, you know? And they also do regret a lot of things that they did slash didn't do. And they still want you, like, you know you're still present in this person's life. They still want to connect to you. They still want to hang out with you. Let's see. I'm starting to develop deep slash deeper feelings. And you are my soulmate. Oh my gosh, lovely, amazing. And on the bottom here we have, you have bewitched me. Also, I want to see what this one is. Let's see. My heart beats so fast when you're around. Oh my gosh, so cute. You have bewitched me. My heart beats so fast when you're around. So beautiful. So, so beautiful. So your person could feel like they're a little bit under your spell. Um, that's maybe why they also feel the need to maybe like recharge, reflect, and just be with themselves for a little bit with the four of air over here. So you guys, this is it for today's reading. Thank you so much for tuning in. If any of you want to dive deeper into your own situation, want a reading on your own person, check out the Etsy shop for messages like the, these message readings or a tarot readings of any kind. So the link to that is down below. If you're curious about 18 plus situations with your person, check out the Patreon for that. It's also linked down below. So thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you for liking, for subscribing, for commenting down below. I love you all so much. Thank you so much for spending time with me and for taking the time to support this channel. And I love you all. Sending my love blessings. Hope you have a lovely weekend, a lovely beginning of the week or a lovely day whenever you are listening to this reading. So all my love, blessings, and yeah, I'll tap in. See you guys soon in the next one. Bye. Namaste.